Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure Skippy Chompy is the Falcon, and uh, Ice Knight is the Grand Wizard. Although it looks like Skippy's thinking, okay. You know, I don't see a lot of Captain Falcon main go for DDD. I'll say that much. Yeah, he definitely picked Falcon at first. Like, he was thinking about it, but I guess he likes this matchup better? Maybe so. I mean, King DDD has got some really strong kill options, and Greninja is a little bit of a lighter character, but he's so fast, too. He's a little bit slippery compared to King DDD. He's a bit more stationary, especially in the air like that. Yeah, and it's going to be kind of hard for uh, DDD here to, like, find these neutral wins, but... It doesn't take too much percent to really kill Greninja, so. As compared to King Dedede, you'll have to get a lot of neutral wins to get a bunch of damage and even more to get him to kill percent. Yeah, and it's going to be about how far Ice Knight can really push his advantage state against his character. Oh, yeah. That was very good from Ice Knight. And that's exactly what you want to do against a heavy character like King Dedede. You need to go way far out like that when you are super close to the Blast Zone and getting the kills all the way out there. You, you're not going to have as much success trying to kill him when you're on like center stage or even just the stage in general. Yeah, and if you can steal stocks from a character like DDD at like 50% like you just did there, it, it just feels so good. And as the DDD player, it feels so bad. Because, you know, sometimes he can live to like 150. Oh. I believe that was a misinput for Ice Knight. Yep, but there's only so much you can do when you miss input, and a lot of times people are ready for that with a punish of their own. Ooh, Gordo stuck here on the side of the stage. Oh man, that has so much reach. Oh, yep, wow. the Naren to the fair. Classic. Yeah, Naren right through that Gordo. Right, and it seems that... Yeah, that was a great ledge trap for Ice Knight. Dash attack into the forward air, gonna find that kill. Yeah, Ice Knight is doing a good job of just holding this advantage both on stage and then just completely going off off stage as well. Yeah, Ice Knight really controlling the pace of this game as well. Although, Skippy Chompy getting his first ledge drop situation here. And this is what King DDD is known for. Yes, that Gordo is a scary move to try and contest when you're getting back onto the stage. And it looks like Ice Knight is able to get back on a stage here, even against those Gordos. And he's now got center stage against Skippy Chompy. It's a good place to be in when you've got a good lead like this. Oh, uh, Skippy trying to take back center here. Okay, drag down. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it didn't kill. That was cute. That was super cute. And then using the up B to kind of push Skippy Chompy away. Yep. Yep. Dash attack again into the forward air. The same confirmed for the second stock, but that was a really nice drag down from, uh, from Ice Knight there. For sure. And Greninja just has some of these, like, they're just very suave kills. Yeah. Very, definitely a very stylish character, so. And, uh, you know, like I said, Greninja not a super common character, so Skippy Chompy may be, like, not prepared for these situations. He just, like, hasn't experienced it before, so he doesn't necessarily know what to do. Yeah, I can totally understand that, and maybe we might see the Captain Falcon switch here, but that DDD wasn't doing too terribly. He might just need to make one or two adaptations, and it could go, it could go in his favor. All right, Skippy going back to his main, I believe, Captain Falcon. I, I like this pick, I think. In the situation where you're playing as a character you may not be that comfortable against, it's just better to stick to your comfort pick so that you can focus more on what he's doing. All right, here we go. And just holding center stage is going to be very important in this match. Both of these characters, they might struggle a little bit off stage, especially Falcon. One small little move to just clip him off stage, and that up only goes so far. Oh, yeah. Nice there. They're waiting for the tech. Here we go. Juggle situation. All right, trying to read the air dodge a little bit off on that. Here we go. Juggles with the up air. Almost the third time. Oh, yeah. Great read there. Reading the air dodge. That was a huge string from uh, Ice Knight. The whole time he was just, like, maintaining the juggle. Oh, yep. Okay. Right, and let's have situation. Oh, trying to down be out of the corner. You can only do that. When you're really confident in it, and unfortunately, he's just stuck in this ledge trap situation as Ice Knight is edge guarding even from stage with that Uppy and the Shuriken. Gonna get that back air as he's jumping back onto stage. Yeah, what a great ledge trap from Ice Knight. Skippy just, no matter what he did, he just could not get off the ledge. And right now, Ice Knight is just running with this lead. All right, Skippy Tommy trying to get something going here with the Nair. It's a really great tool to get combos started for Falcon. Oh, look at him just chasing him with that Nair under the platform, and it just keeps going. 
Oh, yeah, two up airs. Can he go for the third? Okay, no. Let's him land. Yeah, but just retreating back to center stage. That's, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you when you're in the lead like this? So you don't have to take any risks right now. You just have to hold your stop. Yeah. Ice Knight. Oh, yep. That's dead. Nice confirm. Ice Knight up three stocks to one. Skippy's going to need a big comeback here to bring us back. Yeah, it's just scary right now. Here's Skippy Chompy. Ice Knight is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, and it just feels like Skippy Chompy just can't really get anything started. He, we haven't seen any of these like coveted Falcon combos that we're so used to seeing. It just feels like he's not able to find the neutral wins that he needs to get anything started. And Ice Knight is just playing, a, doing a great job of walling him out the whole time. Ice Knight is doing a really good job of staying slippery against the, the combos that Falcon likes to get started. Yeah. Look at that, reading the air dodge into the back here. Is that going to be it? Oh, wow. Yep. That's great. He gets just the first hit of the back air, and that's going to drag him down and... That's a three stock for Ice Knight. Very unceremonious way to go out with that back air. It's when you get like the, the little sour hit or just a tiny little like flick off stage. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't always feel the best, but good stuff from both of these players. Ice Knight uh, from Chicago. That's like, you can't be mad about that loss. Yeah. Well, he drove eight hours to be here. He's going to take whatever he can get. So. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the.